Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Living It Up Raw. Welcome to Dehradun. We're up here in the mountains for the launch of the lightest and the most affordable Tiger in the Triumph lineup. Meet the Tiger Sport 660. And I think it makes a really strong first impression given the way it looks. I love the face. Looks very purposeful. And as a lot of you would have guessed, it borrows a lot of its components from the Trident 660. Starting with the heart, it has the same inline triple motor, makes the same 80 horsepower, 64 newton meter of torque, has the exact same gear ratios and final drive. So I'm very curious to see how this motor does in this setup now, which weighs in at 206 kgs wet. And as we are talking touring, you also get long travel suspension. So you have 150 mm of travel at the front and the back. You get Showa separate function forks at the front, which are non-adjustable. At the back, you get the Showa shock, which is adjustable for preload using a remote adjuster, which is very cool. And along with the, the seat height has gone up by about 30 millimeters compared to the Trident. So this stands at 835 mm. You also have more clearance now, 162 millimeters. And of course, the wheelbase is longer as well by 11 millimeters compared to the Trident. I think it's at 1415 millimeters. And then you, of course, also get a bigger tank, 17 liter tank, and an adjustable windscreen. But other than that, all the other components like the brakes, are exactly the same as the Trident. Even the electronics, you get the same two riding modes, rain and road, you get switchable traction control, you get the same sticky Michelin Road 5 tires, all LED lighting, just like on the Trident. So that's the bike, that's all the artillery that it packs. And now I think it's time for us to hit the road and put it to test. It's been a while since I've ridden a triple and it still makes my heart flutter because I think it's the best of both worlds here you have really good torque low down and really good top end as well and even with this one yeah you have 64 Newton meter of torque available 57 of which are available from just 3600 rpm which makes the engine very very responsive <laughs> very engaging to ride but the difference with the trident is the tridents at times felt a little snappy yeah but this with the added weight the engine it feels a lot more linear a lot smoother we are still going but it's not as jerky it's not as snappy And as we're up here in the mountain, the roads are never straight, they're always curvy. I'm really enjoying the balance of this bike. So what Triumph has done is something very, very interesting. So the, the rake and the trail on this is even sharper than that on the Trident. So even though it has a longer wheelbase, this is very, very agile, very quick on its feet. Inspires a lot of confidence in corners is very willing to turn you don't have to like muscle it beautiful also like the brakes as well and the suspension setup because there's not too much dive when you're braking but yeah when you're braking really hard i feel the abs can be a little less intrusive and even when you want to just drop the pace and take it easy the torque low down is very helpful because you can easily climb up in these mountains putter around in the fourth gear with more than enough torque available on tap whenever you need it in terms of vibrations yeah you can feel some vibes creeping around 5000 rpm first from the handlebar then onto the pegs and it increases as the revs climb but they're not as pronounced uh, in the sixth gear. And on the highway, I feel the engine can easily do 140, 145 kilometers an hour. That would be its sweet spot 
for cruising. Also in terms of comfort, I love the ergonomics, they're nice and relaxed. The seat is really comfortable, really well padded. We have been riding now for quite some time, close to 150 odd kilometers and still I have no buttock. So it's a big, big plus. In terms of the windscreen, uh, in the higher most setting, there is still a decent amount of buffeting. So I prefer it keeping a little bit down so that it's diverting the air more to my shoulders than to the head. I can't really comment on the heat management because we have never really been stuck in stop go traffic so far, at least on this ride. I've not really faced any heating issues, which is again a good plus. Suspension wise, I think this strikes a good balance between sporty and comfortable, as I mentioned earlier. So when you're braking really hard, you have enough support and also here in the corners, you can carry a decent pace as far as sporty riding goes the suspension will support that it's not overly soft but when you need it when you need the plushness over really bad roads i think it does a fairly good job of absorbing the hardest the sharpest of bumps and the peeler of course obviously helped Especially when I had uh, Arvind as my pillion So we had to bump up the preload a little bit But once we had dialed it in He was also very happy with the comfort as a pillion And also with the seat There's enough padding there To make Long hours in the saddle A very comfortable affair so This is my second time here up in the mountains, close to Dehradun, and I still cannot get over this place. And I have to admit that this ride was even more fun with this. I think Triumph have done a pretty good job of taking the Trident platform and converting it into this solid adventure tourer. Because it's undoubtedly a lot more comfortable. It has the suspension travel. I love the seat. I love the relaxed ergonomics. And also, one very important thing about this package, what I like is the weight. At 206 kgs, I think it's a whole lot lighter compared to its competition. Let's say the V-Strom and the Versus 650, which is a big, big boon, especially for people who are getting this uh, motorcycle, a middleweight motorcycle for the first time. So that would make it much easier uh, a motorcycle to live with. Now for the second part. Do I think it justifies its 9 lakh rupee price tag? I think it's about 50,000 rupees more than what I expected. Mainly because the quick shifter which this motorcycle has or even the Bluetooth connectivity, you don't get them as standard. And also if you look at how competitively the Trident was priced, when you compare that price with this price, it's almost 2 lakh rupees more. So is the Tiger 660 almost 2 lakh rupees better than the Trident? I don't think so. But it's definitely a lot more capable and I think if it were 50,000 rupees cheaper, it would make a much, much stronger case. And now for the million dollar question. Is it better than its competition, the Versus 650 or the Vstrom 650? For that, unfortunately, we'll have to wait a little bit longer because I need to ride this motorcycle more when I get it back in Pune for a comprehensive review. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because uh, I would love to see if it can finally take the title of my favorite middleweight adventure motorcycle from the Versus 650. Until then, thank you so much for living it up raw. Ciao.